So here's another cool thing you can do is, uh, let's say you want to create a switch. Okay, right now the intensity of this light is around 200, which is uh, a lot. Okay, let's say you want to create a switch to turn on and off. Then okay. I'm going to create a polygon cylinder. I'm going to go over here. Going to click on this. I'm going to drag up. I'm going to rotate it this way. Going to channel box. Type in 90 degree. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is move it a little bit up. Hit W to move it up. Hit W to um, to get the move tool. Press F to zoom in. Okay, select the light. Hold down the letter V as in Victor. You can also enable uh, shading. Wireframe on shade it. So I'm going to hold down V and middle mouse drag it. The center point to right here. The way I snap it perfectly there, okay? I'm going to set both of them. And I'm going to go in custom. Delete the history. Remember you can delete the history right here. Edit. Delete by type. History. Okay, so now I'm going to parent the light inside this one. Hold down the children first. And then the parent. Shift select the parent. And hit the letter P as in Paul. So now wherever this one goes. Okay, the child will go with it too. Another thing is what you can do is select both of them, hit freeze transform. Okay, so now this one should be all zero out. Okay, some the light sometimes it doesn't zero out even when you freeze transform it. Okay. So freeze transform will be on the modify, freeze transform, and center pivot will be right here. Okay. So let's say um right now let me select that cylinder right now I know that rotate this one you see right here rotate X is um, let's say go back to zero if let's say if it's zero I want the light to be turned off if let's say I rotate it 90 degree right here 90 degree okay I want the light to be on full on okay how do I do that let me go back to here to zero so what you need to do is first set the limit Okay, so we select the object first. Go into actual editor. Then under not the shape node but the transform node, which is right here. And you open up the limit and in limit information. Scroll a little bit down until you see rotate. Make sure you open rotate. Okay. Okay, now what I want is this is the x-axis right here okay not the z i want to go to around the x-axis so make sure i check mark it and i want the minimum to be zero degree okay and i want the maximum if i rotate it i want it to be only 90 degree so check mark max i took it 90. make sure you hit enter so now if i test it see i can't go go beyond zero if i right here i go zero 90. Okay, so if I go back to channel box, so I can drag all the way to the left, it's zero. I mean drag to the right, it's zero. If I drag all the way down, it's 90, 90 degree. Okay. So now if I want to have a turn on or off, it's very easy. Okay, what you need to do is, um, okay, select the object, go into the mode right here, change to animation mode. And you go animate, go down to set driven keys, hit set. Okay, what you need to do is there are two of them. One is the driver, is the real one's driven. So make sure you have the light selected and hit click on load driver. And the one I want is to rotate X. Okay, let me zero out first. Zero. Make sure you set rotate X. Now I want the light, set the light. Now the problem here is if I select the light and hit driven, okay, even though I hit driven, it doesn't give me what I want. So what you need to do is, um, again, make sure the light is selected, go into the attribute editor. Okay, we don't want the transform node, we want the shape node. Okay, so we select the shape node, and I want the intensity, okay. Again, if you want the shape node, you have to click the select button. That way it highlights this one. Okay, now I can click on load driven. So now you see the intensity right there. Okay. So make sure that let's go back to cylinder. Go in channel box. 
make sure it's zero degree and you have to select this one okay or else you can't key it then let's go to light shape okay make sure you're in the intensity okay and then under intensity make sure this is zero degree because zero intensity because we are at zero degree okay once you have both at zero now I can keyframe it key it let's go back to cylinder make sure this one's still selected this time I type in 90 degree hit enter go back to this one make sure this one is red not yellow okay so again make sure yes intensity is selected now this time I type in 200 hit enter and then now I can key it okay let's minimize this so now if I test it if I select the cylinder and let's say go back to zero and hit render I should not be able to see anything okay so now if I rotate it all the way to 90 degree so this is 90 and I draw a selection box now I can see through it okay so that's how you can make the light go on and off like that. so if let's say if go to let's say 45 degree it should be a little bit lighter okay let's say go down to 10 select it middle mouse drag it down to right there see so that's how you can do it go to 90 like that so let's review this open the hyper shade you can do the transparency either by using a uh, render node okay or you can you just use the light itself right here if you use the light itself make sure you double click uh, the way you connect it you scroll halfway down until you see light data make sure you open light data and make sure you set the light intensity to the transparency okay that's one way to do it if you want to use the uh, the Maya render node, you minimize drag this one to here. Choose other. Okay, so make sure that you go to out value to your transparency. Okay, and then f you need a light. Okay, this is just the render the render node. So this one you double click on it. So to connect the um, this light to the surface luminance let's go surface luminance the way you connect these two will be let's go halfway down you just say you, you just need to select it light data you don't need to open it light data and you click on light data array okay another thing is make sure that under on this side right here make sure you click on right display and make sure you choose uh, select show hidden if I don't do that watch what happen it doesn't show up okay so make sure you show hidden it's check mark okay right there and make sure it's um this one is unchecked sometimes if it's checked then it only show what's connected okay uncheck this one and then you can go readable show readable okay and let me see sometimes when you go readable it doesn't show the uh, light data so make sure you go publish only let's see yeah you go to publish only and you will show light data okay so and that's how you can connect it uh, which way is the best uh, I like to use this way more because the way Maya doesn't have to calculate all the nodes if the more nodes you have in Maya in render in the or in the hyper shape you will have, have to calculate more okay so I'll set to review if we select the light go into actual editor here's a spotlight shape node make sure that uh, you change your quadratic make sure the light intensity maximum 200 and make sure you also have cone angle 20 if cone angle is too high 40 then it will see it will cut off the whole building for example if I go to 40 see like that it cuts off too much 120 is good enough and 5 5 right here and if you want to have the stream, the dust, you add the um, light fog, okay? And then this one you can make it maximum to one, and this one anything less than one, okay? And again, you can ch click on the light fog, change whatever intensity right there, 
and change density okay and you can cut this if you want and hit render and that's what it looks like if it's too high you can go down this a little bit right there it's less intense okay so that's it and that, that shows you how to uh, create objects to shine through a wall and you can see the enemy behind it right thank you for watching